What is happening everybody, Molecular Narwhal here with Voyager Vlog. The last one was going to be one, but it got too long, so we're doing two parts. Uh, it's still Saturday, we're done with our hike, and now we're at the Muskox farm. Checking out some crazy Muskox. So just so you guys know, this is actually post-com, so I'm not just randomly talking over this lady in the background. But so I'm at the Muskox farm, and uh, the Muskox, they're kind of a... Uh, they kind of just do their thing. They're like they're just it's just the cow the cow goat kind of deal. They're they're interesting. They're cute. And I'm at this point super tired from my hike. So it's a nice relaxation. Okay, so this is the best clip. So there's a baby over there trying to nurse, right? You can see you can see it trying to nurse. All right, it's going to get it's going to get crazy here. Uh, this is so good. And there's one just eating and doing its thing. Then you you look back. And <laughs> And here's the mom running. So what they told us is sometimes the, the mom, mom muskox, I guess just muskox in general, don't like being moms. Like literally, they don't like being moms. So they'll literally just nope out of mom situations sometimes. It's so look, look, it's just trying to run. <laughs> I love just how done that muskox is. <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, but this is a pretty boring portion of the day but it's nice to just relax yeah <laughs> all right so i didn't say anything on my way in because i forgot because i'm tired but what you guys just saw was the muskox farm this might end up going before the actual clips from the farm but uh i don't know might go after either way whatever forgot to do an intro for it don't judge me uh so it was a pretty interesting tour it was just like 10 bucks so it's fine it was fun they're cute uh, they weren't very terribly exciting i think you can see them over there so yeah not terribly exciting but uh i learned that they're their little bull so here they don't use them for meat they use them for their they call it like kivit or something like that kivit some sort of hair they have and uh it sells for about $95 an ounce. Yeah, which is enough to make an ounce of yarn, which is enough to make maybe a scarf. A short scarf. Scarf. All right, I don't know what we're doing next. Reindeer farm was planned. But uh, I would have ideally gotten to the reindeer farm at 3, and it is now... Or I would have been there before 3 because that's what they said is the best time. And it's now 2.45 and it's a ways away. And I'm super tired. So I might just go to dinner and be done, but we'll see. Alright, so I'm at a restaurant called Turkey Red eating a pulled pork rhubarb sandwich and clam chowder. If you know me, you'd know I love rhubarb on anything. So this should be good. Have my coffee. All right, so I just got done eating at Turkey Red. Once again, forgot to film an introduction, but it's okay. So yeah, we are heading home. We're at Palmer, it's like four o'clock, but for me that I means bedtime is in three hours because my bed's at seven. I've been up for so long. Uh, we're gonna head home. Palmer's very beautiful. You can see some, well, see lots of mountains over there. That's, I think that's the Kanik Mountains. I don't really know, but I tried. So, we're heading home. This might be the end of the vlog, uh, depending on the weather tomorrow. I have some potential plans. I've been invited to do some stuff in Alieska, but uh, I just don't know about that. Uh, I might just go walk some trails in town instead of going another hour trip. <clears throat> so, if this is it, then that's fine. Fine, my keys. But it might not be the end. But in case it is, I just say bye bye. So, bye bye. Guys, there's bears. Look, it's got a cub too. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. Guys, there's like. There's like 20 of them.
My car is not in park. In case they try to kill me. Look, it's a little cop. Can you see it? Look. I can't tell if you can see it in the camera. Dude, the only reason I saw these was because a guy stopped in front of me and like he stopped I had to pump the brakes hard and I was like what the F and he just points out the window and I'm like oh there's bears I'm trying to be quiet I don't want to scare them I gotta stick around a whole lot longer don't want to disturb them too much It's playing with the freaking dandelions. It's so cute. There's like three cubs with this bear. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so happy, dude. Okay, if she looks at me, I'm like flooring it hard. This is definitely in a vlog. Ah, oh, this has to be a thumbnail somehow. Yes, 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 Dude, guys, there were, there's like three cubs. I'll have to count on the video later. I don't know exactly. Hopefully, I think I saw three total. They were so cute. Okay, it's time for me to move on. I don't want to sit here too long. Got a hike to do today. All right, guys, so I am about to hike Rendezvous Peak, which is right there. That's Rendezvous Peak, I think. Yeah, that's Rendezvous Peak right there. That's another thing. That's a, So here we are. Let's just take a look. There's this thing. You guys may or may, may or may not have seen, depending on where I put the clip in the vlog, but on the way here, there's a, God, there's a rough road driving here. On the way here, we saw a bear, and I think three cubs. So I haven't looked at the video to see. I think it was three or four cubs. I mean, I was looking at them myself too, but it's hard to tell. Pretty beautiful, huh? All right, so we are going to hike up. There's two trails, okay? So there's two ways you can go. You can go that way, that looks easy, or you can literally go straight up it, right there, like in the dip. So, I'm not gonna do that, because as you guys know, I just did uh, Hatcher's Peak yesterday, which is a challenging trail. Uh, well, well, not supposed to be, but it's challenging for me. So I'm gonna go the easy way, to just get a nice relaxing walk. Believe it or not, after that hard, air quotes, <laughs> there you go, hard uh, hike yesterday, I'm gonna attempt another one. Here we go, just like last time. The white walk to the trail was tiring enough. <laughs> but this trail should be easier than yesterday. You see those people out there? Let's see. There they are. Probably kind of blur on the phone when I zoom out that close, but I think you can see there's people and I think a dog up there. That's where we're headed. So yeah, see you up there or if you think interesting happens. All right, so excuse my out of breathness while I, tell, I try to talk, but. Right. So there's a point on this hike where it splits and one way's easier, one way's harder. And there's a point before that where it splits and one way takes you to one peak and the other one to Rendezvous Peak. Okay. I can do that while talking. So I took the right one at the first split, but it would appear I took the wrong one at the second. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna put my phone away now. Okay. All right, so I'm taking a little sitting break. First sitting break, it's okay. I started, if you can see it, which I don't know if you can, the little sign down there. You can see it, I think, just barely. That's where I started. 
And I have had it confirmed by that lady with the dog. And then if you look further down, there's another lady with the dog that I have indeed accidentally elected to take the hard way up. And I haven't seen anyone else taking the hard way up. I've seen people taking the hard way down though. So I've been advised to not take this way back down. I'm gonna be very careful to make sure I know which way is the easy way down. I mean, like you got these brave souls. If you can see them. I don't know if you can see them. Sorry if you can't, but they look like they're just going hard. They're gonna go up up it right there. Yeah, so there's people who come out here and they they just hike the mountainside instead of taking the path, which for some people that's like what it's all about. I mean, see, okay, that guy has, see those claws? To just demonstrate how steep this is, he's got those things, like cross country skiers use. And, uh, and he's going down, of course. Going down's a whole different challenge. Going up here, lots of cardio, right? And uh, going down's more like strength. I mean, I'm using a lot of strength here, but I honestly up is more cardio focus, whereas down I feel like is all strength, you know. So, lots of calves and stuff going on there. And I have bad knees, so this is always fun. But yeah, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I think where those people are walking, if you can see them, is where I was supposed to go. But uh, yeah, it's not harder than the way to April Bowl, but the hike itself is harder than the hike to April Bowl. So, not bad. All right. All right, guys. So, we're not quite to the top yet. That's, I guess, the top that's... I don't even remember where we're at. Uh, rendezvous Peak. <laughs> I think I misspoke when I said... I think I said before it was over there, but... It's from what I've heard from more intelligent people, it's definitely over there. There's a guy and his dog. So, yeah. Get off, bug. So that's the way I came. And here's the way from which I did not come. Gonna take me something to get over there. Don't wanna die. Oh, guys, it was a hard walk. <laughs> I'm not into I got a little ways to go, but it was uh, challenging enough. Tell you what, beautiful, right? So I'll be taking some pictures after I finish this and then I'll move on. I think this is the easy path. I don't I don't know to be honest. I'm gonna find out for sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna get to the top and then we're gonna go back. It was hard. Um I took the hard path obviously and uh a few people passed me coming down it. I had about oh five or six people pass me coming down it, but only have seen three other people following me up the same path. And they were all like 80 years old, and every one of them passed me. So it feels good. It feels good, man. Yeah, so going up there. There's that. Let's take a panoramic view. Uh, yeah. And we can't see over there anymore, but yeah. yeah. Alright, I'll see you at the top. Alright, guys. I made it. We are on. Rendezvous Peak, I think. Rendezvous Peak might be over there, there's a chance. But this is top taller. This seems like it's the tallest, although that might be slightly taller. But uh, we're a little higher than my last one. That last one, like, if you can see, it's, hard, it's gonna be hard for me to tell you. I can't see the camera. Like, behind that rock, the Lion King looking rock. I passed, let's see, like I said, it's hard to see. That rock, I passed two people and a dog. I'm, I haven't seen anybody up here. I don't know if you're supposed to go up your butt or anything. Uh, I passed two people having a smoke break. I'm like, yo, I can't even control my oxygen intake. And I've never smoked in my life. And, uh, I'm not smoking currently, and I don't know how you're doing it. 
Um, but yeah, so took a lot of pictures. I'll probably hang out up here for a little while, take a little break. You know what I mean? <sighs> Try to figure out the easy way back. I think I have to go back down from here the way I came. And then there will be an easier path. I hope you guys are seeing some stuff. I'm trying to, I'm not really watching the camera, I'm watching where I'm walking. As I'm hoping you guys would understand. Okay. okay. So, two days of hiking in a row. Today was definitely harder. Uh, to chop it up to whatever you want. Maybe it's a combination of being tired from yesterday and uh, hard today. You might be able to see, I don't know if you can see, I can see over there, straight on the, the horizon. You see the snow-capped mountains, that's the Alaskan uh, mountain chain, mountain range or whatever. Way off in the distance, way, way, it looks like clouds almost. Somewhere over there is formerly Mount McKinley, otherwise known as Mount Denali, which is its traditional name. It's, now it's technical name in America. Well, that's what's always going on. False Point, North America. I think we can see it. I don't know enough to know if we can actually see it right now. I know we can see the Alaskan Mountain Range. On Monday, my first work day here, my boss guy took me and we actually saw Denali uh, from, I guess, like 150 miles away. And that's like, right now, it's probably like 200 miles away. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna stop filming. It's really cold. I had to put my jacket on. I'm not gonna walk further because I don't want to die. Not that way. I'm not really to we'll look for a way out of here. And this might be the last time we film. Uh, maybe period. So uh, if it is, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I uh, probably I might end up recording again once I get to the car. But if not, let me know what else you guys want to see in Alaska vlogs next weekend. Jessica comes down, up I guess, and uh, I'll be doing some stuff this week. And then, of course, lots of stuff with her. So there will be stuff to see. We head to Seward next weekend. That should be fun. Alright, I'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye.